Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, April 12th. Happy Easter to everybody. It's about 40 degrees outside and it's just over 80 degrees inside. So it's toasty in here and a little chilly out there. Today, I'm just taking some of my plants where I planted two seeds in and I'm separating them into bigger pots. I think next year I'll just plant them in bigger pots so I don't have to spend all this time separating them. Uh, but in the past, my seeds haven't done so good. So uh, I guess from now on, I'll just trust myself more. Also, last night, one of my viewers uh, reminded me of something I'd heard multiple times and I guess I had decided to ignore that advice, but it kind of woke me up. So this beautiful peach tree behind me that was going to be a permanent resident, will be moving outside uh, probably right after this cold spell blows through. And then what I'm gonna do, uh, it actually had bugged me because these avocado trees can get pretty big. Uh, this beautiful little avocado tree right here, I'm going to move it over there uh, where the peach tree is. And I was actually considering that anyways because the avocado trees they just get so big and I, it needs more space than here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you where it's currently planted. It probably only has about seven or eight feet of ceiling space. If I go plant it over where the peach tree currently is, it's gonna have 10 or 11 feet of ceiling space. So it'll give that tree a little more space to grow taller and wider because it's also in the corner there. So. That is going to be my project this week. Just going to wait for this current cold spell to move out. I'm going to flip the camera around and just show you where the avocado tree currently is and where it's going to go. I just barely, barely planted this here. But if you look here, there's not a lot of ceiling height. So I'm afraid that tree would be touching the ceiling in a few years. If we move over this direction here, you'll see the peach tree, which is moving outside. And you can see here, this is the tall part of the ceiling. So there's a lot more space for a tree to kind of stretch out. And so I'll be removing this tree right here and putting the avocado in that location. Also this morning, I've been separating the vegetable seeds from one another. So you can see if we're looking here at these tomatoes, there you got one, two, one, two, one, two. You know, you have two uh, plants growing in each little container. So what I've done, I've already done it here with the little tomatoes. You can see I've already taken the biggest one out and moved them into these bigger pots that you see here and left the smallest one of them in here. And so now they each have their own space to grow. So next, I'm gonna be working on the large tomatoes. Okay, so I've finished dividing up all the different plants. And now, since I'll be removing our little avocado tree there you see behind me, I will now be placing this big bucket right here in its place. And I've got myself three Yukon Gold potatoes. They're seed potatoes, so they're meant for planting. And I will put these potatoes in the place of that pot. Before I plant those, we're looking in on our red potatoes. You can see that pot, the three potatoes are growing nicely there. So I'm gonna to need to put some soil in around all those so they can continue to grow. And if you look into this pot here, I have one that's growing really, really well. Another one hasn't shown up quite yet. And then you can see that one right there as well. So I'll probably put some soil around this one. Okay, so I'm gonna shovel this nice rich soil here. And if you look down here, right on top of the potatoes, we're just gonna put this stuff gently around this new plant like that. Okay, so you can see I put some nice soil around all three of those plants, it should look something just like that. And now I'll just repeat doing that every few days as they continue to grow. Okay, so I have my bucket here with my potatoes. I'm ready to plant them. I've put some kind of decent soil in here 
And then I've put some miracle Grow garden soil just in these little holes, just for the starters. And you always wanna plant the potatoes with this stuff on this one here, the big one right here. Gently push them in there. And then what I'll do is I'll take some garden soil like this, some of this nice miracle Grow stuff, and we're just gonna bury everything. So just like that, it's kind of buried there. And uh, hopefully within a week or so, we'll start seeing growth here as well. So I just came out to the greenhouse to check on things and I noticed the aphids are back. So all the ladybugs I released in here a couple weeks ago, they did awesome. They pretty much cleaned them out, but I just noticed this. I don't know if you can see all those nasty little bugs on that branch, but I know that if you attack aphids early, you can take care of the problem a lot better. So I'm probably gonna go order some more ladybugs. All right guys, today is Tuesday, April 14th, and I just picked up four of these 55 gallon water barrels. This one happens to be full of water already. You can tell because I can pick it up so easy. <laughs> anyway, you can see here behind me, let's grab the camera and give you a close up. I just placed three new water barrels back here. And as you can see, I've got my hose here. And we are filling them all up with water right now. And the purpose for this is to keep the temperatures more stable in here. Uh, water holds the temperatures better. So in the winter time, Hopefully, it won't get as cold in here. Uh, anyway, it looks like I probably need 10 more. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you really quick. Okay, so looking at the four new water barrels here, you can see I could put one back here. I'll probably hold off because I'm gonna remove this peach tree, but I was able to squeeze three perfectly in between these two black barrels here. And if I continue along here, removing these littler barrels, it looks like I can probably add 10 or maybe even 11 more. And while we're at it, I should point out, if you look right here, you'll notice the two lily koi bushes. So those have been moved from the house out to the greenhouse. Right to the top. All right, there we go. We have one barrel full and three more to go. <laughs> Okay, here we are in the underground greenhouse. Today is the 15th of April, 2020, and we're gonna play What's Inside again. I just received another package here. We pop it open and see what's inside. Oh, we have to pop it out here. Okay, and then this is what's inside. So let me pull it out. There we go. It's not heavy. It's just awkward. You can see solar panel and it's an attic fan. So if you remember, I've been talking about replacing the old one, which really didn't keep up with the temperatures last year anyways, with something that's more powerful. So I'm just gonna see, hopefully, this is easy to just remove that one and replace it with this one. But one thing I've learned about projects is they always take longer than you hoped and something always goes wrong. So I'm not expecting to be easy. And worst of all, there's a big storm rolling in. So I'm debating, do I attempt to try to get it done before the storm comes? Or is it better to just wait a day or two until it, uh, the storm blows over and then do it then? Okay, so here we are. This is the old one. I gotta remove it. You can't really see the clouds, but there's definitely a storm coming in. So we're just gonna get going on this thing. Okay, so that one's off. Now I'll go get the new one. Okay, so right now I'm just peeling off 
all the sealant that we had around the old one so the new one will fit snugly on top of here and what's crazy is it feels like i'm standing over an oven the hot air that is coming out of this hole is like actually really really warm i wish you could feel it Okay, here's the new fan. Let's see how it fits. This fan will actually kick on the second I flip it around because uh, the solar panel is ready to go. So I'm probably gonna to keep this piece of cardboard over the top so that doesn't happen. Okay. I can actually feel the weather coming in. So now I'm getting a little worried. Uh, I got liquid nails here. I'm gonna use liquid nails and I'm gonna use some of this ProFlex caulking to help seal it. Okay, so I just finished up with the liquid nails. Now I'm gonna put the sealant around it. That's the first coat. Now, to get the second coat, this will be a little thicker coat on the outside edge here. Okay, that is Good, now carefully place this back in the right position, hopefully. Now I can take some screws and screw this down into the sheet metal I have beneath here. So anyways, on to the next part of this project. Okay, so the holes that were pre-drilled for the installation don't match up where I've put the support underground in the greenhouse. So I've drilled a couple of holes and then I have these self-tapping screws like you see here. Just put it in there. And... Okay, well, I've pretty much finished this off. I've caulked around everything, put multiple screws down inside of this. So it should be pretty secure. Um, I guess the last thing we need to do is lift this baby up. So as you can see, we're done here. Got the solar panel up. So as soon as the sun comes out, it'll work. I'm actually shocked it did not rain on me today. It's been blowing and you got some dark clouds above head, but I guess it's my lucky day. Now we gotta go inside and increase the size of the hole so the airflow can uh, get out of here nice and good. Nice and good, what kind of English is that? We gotta get down there and we gotta increase the size of the hole so we get better airflow. Hey everybody, it is April 16th today and we are going to play what's inside. So we got another box here. See the holes there? So you know it's something living. And if you watched the last episode, I might've already told you what this is. Looks like we have another bag of ladybugs. So I know it doesn't look like much, but supposedly this is 1500 ladybugs. So um, I've noticed a few more aphids starting up in here again. And so we're going to release all these guys and hopefully really decimate the aphids so we don't have to worry about them this summer.
Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is you can see this pot of potatoes. I've already had to put a ton of soil in it to keep up with the growth, they're growing so fast. So I'm gonna take this bucket right here that's the same size as that one. I'm gonna cut off the bottom and I'm gonna set this over the top like this and that will allow these to continue to grow up and up and hopefully produce more potatoes. Okay, so now I'm just cutting off the bottom of this guy right here and then we'll go move it on top of the potatoes. Okay, well, I did it. I cut the hole through the bucket here, not without sustaining an injury, another injury. I'm always getting hurt. I think these soft realtor hands aren't used to this like tough farming type stuff. So anyways, I'll have to work that out, but I'm not gonna cry about it. So anyways, this should fit right on top of here now. And let's dig it in just a little bit. That should allow the plant to continue to grow upward and I can keep putting soil in there and hopefully that will allow us to get more bigger potatoes. Okay, so the potato bucket now looks like this. And it's, you can see, we're sitting right at the bottom of the bucket level there. So I'm gonna be curious to watch this over the next couple of weeks and see how high we end up filling this bucket. Well, it was another couple of busy days with a lot of exciting things happening. Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, please give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll catch you next time.